Being joined right now, Hi. of course, uh, Jimmy Norton. Hi. Per usual. I think Opie's uh, in the can. You're dropping a nagel. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <just laughs> oh, boy, does he not oh, like that. Like not even all. a hint of a smile when you refer hey. to uh, feces as a nagel. <laughs> he does not like it. Sorry, I didn't mean Who thought that up, guys? Was that uh, Sam? It was. I, I knew it was Sam. Sam is very cherubish, very adorable, yeah. but he is one of the biggest uh, a-holes on the entire program. He's just a nasty, you're a nasty kid. He was a nice kid. You guys made him go intern with Scorch. What do you expect? Yeah, that might have done it. Colin Quinn joining us here also. Welcome, Colin. Hi, always guys. Good to, always good to have you on board. Colin! Like it's a ship. I've been listening on to, board. I've been listening to the show. It's great to be here on Aces Up with Lefty Rosenthal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a shame if the county commissioner wants to come on and debate me. <laughs> <laughs> That's better drop it now. Hold on. Uh, I just dropped an excellent some employee. Some people the, uh, can do something. <laughs> the, uh, you and know get away what? with it, and others can't. It's hypocrisy. Such is life. Right. My first guest is Frankie Avalon. <laughs> uh, Scorch. Yeah, Scorch. Colin loves this guy, Scorch. Well, uh, just a little back funny. history really fast. Ant and I, back in the day when we were working in Worcester, we worked at the same radio station as Scorch. Scorch. There, there was something about him. We just yeah. we, we loved the guy from the first day we met him. And he would he would come in with a boom box, and he would set up his <laughs> kingdom of nakedness. <laughs> it was Even like though he didn't get right. naked or anything, but it, he he had the illusion that he did naked radio. and Naked right. radio. He just had this whole, yeah, everything was like radio. It was like a weird, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he, he, just, yeah. he just had a way about him, man. He was really, really into his kingdom of nakedness. Totally nude radio. Totally nude. Naked and, militia. And then uh, poor Sam started interning with us. Young Sam. Yeah. Really wanted to get into radio. And then we found out that he was uh, going to Syracuse University, right, Syracuse? And I go, wow, we got an old friend that does radio up there <laughs> named Scorch. So we uh, we basically forced uh, young Sam onto Scorch, that right? That's great. Yeah. Yes. He's and, never been the same, Sam. And then Sam did, like, his uh, internship up there while he was at school. And then, uh, you know, a gig opened up here. And here's young Sam does, waiting for the show. Does Colin know about Scorch's color of the day? Oh, the new color, color and of number day? of the day? I think I don't know. This was where uh, uh, where uh, Scorch would just give out the color of the day. It'd be like, yeah, all right, uh, the color and the number. Like, all right, today we're looking at uh, brown uh, seventeen. Oh, just <laughs> but there would be nothing else to it. But it's like a unifying theme for the Scorch listeners. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> well, then yeah. they would know, and and he said people would look forward to the next day to see what the color that was. That part I can't believe. But, no, <laughs> who could? And, and you're sitting there waiting for the sarcasm or something, oh, and, oh, and it never none. happens. No. We got the actual bit. It, it's 20 seconds. We got to do this for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to guess blue 43. All right. Good Today guess. the uh, color is what they say here, working man's brown. Oh. It must be working man's brown. The number is five. So it is working man brown and five. <laughs> <laughs> what does it even but I'll mean? Tell you, he brings up some good points. Like I was thinking about all these crazy cooking shows. You know, they're just too many cooking shows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sick of them. You know, know, the brothers in Philly have a brilliant thing they do. I saw on the show with color of the day. They'll have a color of the day, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they all guys in the neighborhood all wear the same color shirt and pant, like white shirt and jeans. This way, there's a problem with the cops. Looking for a young male in a blue shirt and jeans. Oh. 150 guys. With Is blue that real? Shirt. Oh, yeah. I saw it on a police show. And I thought, how brilliant. Very interesting. Is that? So Are the ONA Pests listening? Mmm. To all the ONA Pests. What's tomorrow's color? It's a pretty good idea. Let's make them uh, like, have to wear a really awful color, like pink. Fuchsia. <laughs> right. Periwinkle. Periwinkle and pink. Periwinkle. All ONA Pests have to wear Periwinkle oh, and pink no. tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna get sued by Scorch. <laughs> right, yeah. You're ripping me off. Hoo hoo. I bet you like there's <laughs> I bet you there's, there's a lot of people in the Syracuse area playing playing the Scorch numbers now. Yeah. They probably, have, right. like, they, probably betting in, in back yeah. alleys and back rooms and stuff waiting for uh, the color and the number. Yeah, but now he's gonna say five. He's gonna name we'll call him. Yeah. Number. All right, here we go. So we got brand new Scorch stuff. It's uh, Scorch's top names for food network shows. Really? Ooh. Yeah. There are a lot of those shows. I'd love to see some well. I think these are the top rejected shows, by the way, if Sam's correct when I was talking to Sam before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shows that couldn't make it because... Well, yeah, a little too racy. Yeah. <laughs> reason will be obvious. Here's the, here's the great uh, Scorch. 
we're going to talk about shows that I came up with for the Food Network. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these shows, uh, I don't think they would like to have. Some of them, I think, really have a chance to make it. Uh -oh. Tell me what you think. For instance, uh, the Chef Lollipop show. You know what I mean? The Chef Lollipop making show. And it's called, hmm, that is a great cook sucker. You know? Whoa. That might you not to say that? Wait, wait. That might not. What's, what's a cook I don't well, know. a lollipop, you suck on it. Yeah, but a <laughs> cook a sucker. Show. I don't get the it. The cook made the sucker. The cook made it. Yeah, it's like a... But it's... wouldn't that be a cook's sucker? Yes, or a, a cook... Uh, they'd probably call it a cook's lollipop. Right. No one calls a lollipop yeah, a, sucker. a sucker. Don't be jealous. Usually when that guy's going to have the guts to do the interruption. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> What's next? What's next? Show. And it's called, hmm, that is a great cook sucker. <laughs> You know, that might not really have time to make it. That might not no, be the easiest one him. to get through the sensors. The cook sucker. One, nope. You know? Don't go there. The cook sucker. He knows how to sell it, though. I like yeah. that one. Huh? I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. How about this? I was going to have a show based on soups, but the soups weren't made from meat. Mm. They were made from, you know, the, the muscles and the tendons and the bones, and the show would be called... I want to bone you. Oh, I wait a minute. <laughs> I want to bone you with the bones. There's bones in the soup. It's not meat, but bones. <laughs> Just <laughs> bones in the soup. Yeah. And and the funniest part of the whole thing is you guys making poor Sam go up an intern for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a nightmare. Why is soup involved with boning you? Why yeah, it just be I'll take the meat off and serve bones. What? Where does the, the whole happen? thing is horrendous? But I want to know why you're picking that me. part. Yeah, yeah. How about we start with the concept? <laughs> like the expression "soup to bones." Like you, know? you basically you're saying I accept the concept of the bit, but so now we gotta nuts, like but... pick it apart. Right, right. But he's right though about uh, about cook sucker. Like that would never go. He is actually yeah. a legitimate point. Oh, well, well, is that what he's doing? Proving a point. You know what? Some of the shows I would be surprised if it did go these days. Guys, calling you know. You want the bachelor? <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, uh, you guys should have the, uh, hmm, uh, the... Uh, Obi's like, this is problematic. Uh-oh. Well, we should have the colored of the day. Oh, I got you. But then he said we should have done that during Black History Month. That's uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore with that witty line. <laughs> bone you. Come on, how can you beat I want to bone you, you know? Oh, you God. Can, and this one really could have the chance to make it. This one is a barbecue show where the girls are just wearing bikinis and thongs and next to nothing. And the show is called Grills Gone Wild. Come on. <laughs> that is a winner. Right That's there. a good one. <laughs> Come on. That is a winner right there. This is crazy. Scorch knows what he's got in front of him. <laughs> yeah. Yo, does he? Yes, yeah. exactly. You know a what he big has? steaming pile of Nagel. Oh, I was going to go radio Nagel. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't what even he look up and laugh. Hey, Iraq. Iraq. Iraq's he, texting. Iraq. He hates can we, that. Can, can, let's ask him on air. I want to yeah. know what this bit's about. He I does like, not like this what, a bit at all. What is this bit, Iraq? Oh, I didn't hear it. Well, aren't, oh. aren't you part, part paying attention to the Aren't you above yeah. the fray? He's not even paying attention. He didn't want to hear. How do we expect the listeners to pay attention if the guy seven feet to my left isn't paying attention? Iraq, what about that? I don't know. It's not my bit. Ask uh, Sam what that bit's about. Whoa. Sam, oh. comment. You know, it's a throw. It was a throwaway line at the time that I regret because I feel like it's gone wild and hurt people's feelings. Throwaway line that was repeated over and over <laughs> and over. I know they just repeated it after I threw it out there. See, Colin, quickly to bring you up to speed. Uh, around the office now. Right. Well, it's just for a little fun, off the air. Uh, whenever you refer to crap, you, instead of saying the the S word, that is is that you uh, you say Nagel, right. which is Iraq's last name. I get so it, you though. go, oh my God, I stepped in some Nagel yesterday and I had to scrape it off my shoe, and he hates it. Of course he does. The Nagels have a long and proud history and <laughs> being destroyed in one month here on the show. <laughs> they arrived from eastern Russia during the first, uh, you know, pogroms of the early 20th century. I love that you said a long and proud <laughs> history. So, Iraq, what happens? That bit just bugs you against you a little bit? Not one of my favorite, no. <laughs> Iraq, you got to fight back. Which one's favorite, mayo? <laughs> little, little fighting back. Yeah. Exactly. All right, uh, the Scorch continues. Uh, the boys of Simmer. You know what I mean? You want to just make like Oh, others. God! You can't just have the clean... You what can't arbitrarily he? set up the list and you have these <laughs> filthy cook slooker and then have it filled by the boys of Simmer. <laughs> boys yeah, of the boys of Simmer? It sounds like boys of Summer. 
Oh. Actually, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, but if he did those first and then he got to the dirty ones later, he can't just throw him randomly. He's so idiot. Why are you trying to fix this bit? It's I just think of him brainstorming this and <laughs> yeah. thinking, let me think. Oh, the simmer. All right. First, he started with cooking words is yeah. what he started with. Okay, cook, simmer, oh. uh, soup. Uh, that, and then just went through. It's like, okay, yeah, right. simmer, simmer. Summer boys of boys of simmer. Oh, I got one. Colin, when you were getting like uh, great comedians, uh, great comedians for your right. tough crowd, why 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 not scorch? If I thought, I mean, does he do stand up too? We were only using like Kaz doing stand up, but I mean, he could do stand up. He could do it all. He probably used to do stand up. <laughs> oh, that's all. That's your official <laughs> you reason can. why you never invited us on the show because we didn't. Uh, do I did invite you guys on. I believe you did? many times. Yes, you couldn't come because there's no. Uh, couldn't oh, talk. really? At this yes. time, I thought that you just didn't what want us crazy? on the show. What are you guys on all the time? <laughs> Actually, if you didn't, you have Stalker Patty on. Yes. All right. So chums the, instead of friends. That was the show they did a parody. Chums, of chums, oh, chums. Right. Here's uh, more cooking shows. Uh, Simmer loving. Patty was great. Where is Patty? Simmer loving. Uh, Ask me to dance. Simmer loving. <laughs> Patty's now working for Ron and Fez. So, oh, she's parlayed. Oh my God. Her success into a, a game. With Ron <laughs> I'm Fez. on multiple shows now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to just make like other sauteed sauces and things like that? The boys of Simmer. Come on. How are you going to beat that? You know, you can't touch it. Uh, here's one, another one. If we're a saute person, how about saute day night fever? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, he didn't say that. But if he at least set it up first with like, hey, how about a show with Brooklyn with dancing? But he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. All the other ones got a big setup. That one he just goes into. Saute it. night fever. Because it's, it's sautéing in the show. Oh, he hey, you always touch my pasta. <laughs> Stop touching my pasta. <laughs> Gonna sauté. <laughs> Gonna sauté. You happy now, see? Now you're a cannoli. <laughs> this when I feel good. This when I'm cooking down at the restaurant. <laughs> sauté night. <laughs> What, is, what the hell is that? Saute day night. <laughs> oh, saute day. It isn't even like just hey, saute. But can't it's, you play? It's, it's brilliant and it's stupidity. You got to give it, yes. give him that much. But can't you leave that song on and make him do Dice Clay and Scorch yeah. in a scene from Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> <Right. laughs> that would be a lot of elements there, uh, Colin. Hey, come back over here. <laughs> Stop dancing on the bridge. You're going to hurt yourself. Get over here. Yeah, hey, look, I'm dancing, Tony. Yeah. You didn't call me. You didn't call me, Tony. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I borrowed your car and I said I was going to call you. And I didn't. Anthony's I, I hurt my knee, dude. Anthony's overheating because of you, Colin. Too many elements in the bed. What are you, crazy? He even got conf Anthony never gets confused. He started as, Every, as Travolta right. and went into Dice. And then he was to Andrew Dice Kelly at the end. <laughs> Hello, Andrew Dice Kelly. <laughs> Andrew Dice Kelly. All right, well, uh, according to Sam, Scorch brings it home in a big way with his final... Final part of the bit here. Yeah, right. he knows how to close it. All right. And the best one of all was one where it, it was tells you be, what the best and one of all. I'm not into seeing men, you know, undressing you or anything like that. All right, of course we don't. Be, be. Uh, show with some of the uh, best looking men in the world, and it was going to be meant specifically for women, and the show was going to be called, uh, excuse me, your fry is open. See, all these shows. Uh -oh. you know, actually, I can't say all of them. Some of them might not make it because of the title. Oh, you know what? Grills Gone Wild? Come on, how can you beat that? A show with scantily clad women barbecuing food? Guys, you have to agree with me. Something like that Do I have would to? definitely be P.F.G. Oh, yeah. His new show that's is called P.F.G. <laughs> that's what it is. It's Scorch P.F.G. P.F.G. Which means uh, the P and the G is pretty good. Great. Great. Sorry. I just remembered. <laughs> Pretty great. And you could, you know, just imagine what the. Oh, the yes. App. Don't go there. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> PFG. Pretty effing glad we're not doing that type of radio. Although he's got a, <laughs> got something funny about your gals in bikinis on that uh, sauteing show. <laughs> Grill's gone wild. We should, like, take some of these uh, ideas and <laughs> just run with it. You really, you know what you should do? Actually just set up a grill and studio real show, yeah. Right. And hey, that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he gets a job, though, man. He gets fired every six months, and there's another <laughs> there's another station waiting for him, man. Right? Yeah, just a couple markets below. the. the... I, I can't even keep track of all the stations he's worked for since we uh, moved on. <laughs>
<laughs> and he got gr one of the greatest firings ever. The PD actually told him he was pizza. Yeah. And the PD was looking for hamburger. <laughs> yeah. That just kills me. It's not that, how I think about it. It's not that, like, pizza isn't good. People love pizza, but... Scorch sat us down his last day at the station. Oh, guys, uh, just got fired. <laughs> and explained the whole story how Dave Dickless sits him down and goes, uh, I'm looking, uh, uh, I'm looking for, uh, a hamburger around here. And you're, uh... Your pizza. Your pizza. Pizza's yeah, a good food. Pizza's good. People love pizza. <laughs> but but we're looking for hamburger. Meanwhile, there's like no distinction if you're going to mention like a food ma yeah. pizza and hamburger in the same category. Yeah, exactly. It's not Idiot. like. Yeah, it's a stupid analogy to make. Yeah. But Dave was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> On so many levels. We're going to play you pizza or hamburger today. Pizza or hamburger. <laughs> Call up. Tell me what you'd rather have. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Go home and watch that movie, The Pool. What's it called? Swimming okay, Pool. Swimming Pool. <laughs> Colin, write it down. Let me uh, write this out for you, because you're going to get all confused, and you're going to see some dumb movie that's not... Oh, dumb. that's where you're wrong. Y'all watch The Swim with Burt Lancaster. Remember that movie? <laughs> oh, God. I'm swimming through people's backyards. <laughs> Why? Swimming Pool. Why? From swimming that Pool? That movie stunk. I watched it as a kid, yeah. and I just thought I was too young to get it. <laughs> and then I watched it when I, I got older and was like, no, it's just a stupid movie. 2002, because I, I think this was a remake. Sw believe it or not, they had to remake this movie, Swimming Pool from 2002, uh, 2003. Mm -hmm. Sorry, William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's not the first name that came to mind. <laughs> no. That's the second name that came to mind. <laughs> I think you had Tommy Lee on the tip of your tongue. Yeah, <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Colin Quinn, it's always a pleasure. You got Caroline's this weekend. 212 yep. 757 starting uh, Friday night. Right? Anything else? Jimmy Jackson. Jimmy Jackson. Jimmy Jackson. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, <laughs> yeah, Colin's longer. obsessed with uh, and. And my, old family member there, my Jimmy childhood. Jackson. Well, he was just a friend of the family. Friend of the family, I should <laughs> yep. say. Jimmy Jackson. Did you love Jimmy his, Jackson stories? Run his rent string. <laughs> yeah. My favorite Jimmy Jackson story was uh, <laughs> him trying to sell the dead horse. The dead horse. My actually, my <laughs> favorite was him dr riding the drunken uh, <laughs> drunk in the chariot yeah, yeah. down the street, and it, the horse ran between two parked cars, and the chariot couldn't fit. <laughs> The, so it just wiped out two cars. But he, the best was he convinced someone to buy a dead horse. He was able <laughs> to show that the horse was still alive, even though it was it was, yeah. it was, as, it was as dead as dead is. Yeah, he said he had to tranquilize it because it was so full of spirit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? Jimmy Jackson rules. All right, remind us. we got to do that Jimmy Jackson stories <laughs> on the next Opie and Anthony show. Colin, thank oh, you so much. Nice. Colin, always a pleasure.